Hi friends, welcome back. So again, we will see uh, one more deep analysis uh, in the different data set. So this is the uh, problem statement that you can read. So today what we are going to do is we will check the air quality uh, in the given data set. So this is the description about the data set that we have uh, used in here. But uh, as we have written uh, question and their respective answer, so we will focus more on that. So first thing again, we'll have to import NumPy as NP and Pandas as PD. So as is nothing but uh, the alias that uh, could be anything according to you. So the first question is import the data set into Jupyter Notebook. So again, I will provide the same data set in the description also. So kindly get it from there. Now it is asking how many observations are there in the object you just imported. So to check that we will definitely use the shape which will return the uh, rows and the columns now how many missing values are there in the column uh, slar r okay so uh, again to check this uh, first we are checking the is null so how many missing values are there and we are uh, checking all by using the sum function so sum will return all the uh, null values from there now it is asking what was the ozone level on 7th july so to get the particular data we can directly apply the condition here so in the air quality data set we are checking that if air quality dot day equals to equals to 7 and the month is also 7 because 7th of july so it will return that row right what has has been the average temperature in the month of September so again first we will group uh, all the data by the month okay and now we have to get the average of temperature so we will uh, get the temperature average and I log 4 that means it will return me the uh, fourth column right so the value at the fourth column now next thing it is asking that what was the maximum wind speed uh, observed in july so again to check the wind speed we are checking the group by month because we are several month here there because we have several months uh, there now we are checking the maximum with the wind okay and the i lock is at two again at that second position we have the wind column so we are accessing that and it will return me the exact value next question is uh, which month has the day with minimum amount of solar uh, radiation okay so again we are first sorting the value by solar on, all right and the order is in uh, ascending order and i want only first row because it will give me the uh, many rows so at the first position because it's ascending is true so it will return the minimum value with the solar r okay so there we go now it is asking which month has the coldest day all right again we will sort the value based on what this time we are uh, sorting value based on temperature because we need hottest day okay and asc ascending is false that means uh, it will give me in descending order and that will be our minimum uh, temperature so to access the hottest day uh, we will uh, sort by temperature and order is in descending order uh, okay now uh, this way we will get the row the last question is which day had o ozone level of 78 and temperature of 86 day and month okay so we will check in the air quality ozone is 78 and the air quality is 86 so this way it will return mean that uh, resulted data all right thank you